crazy. It's year out. And here I am this week to talk to you about how to clear the negative energy from your body and from your home, from your office, from your car. Just get that negative stuff out of there. And what's the easiest way to do it? Well, first thing I'm going to tell you, and I'll try to make this short. I know you don't like listening to long videos, but the easiest and quickest way to clear yourself is with salt, just plain old table salt. People ask me, can I use Epsom salts? Yes, but add some table salt because table salt, it's the properties within the salt that clear the negative energy. So when you take a bath, put about a cup or so of salt in your bath water and soak in it. If you take showers, that's fine. Um, get a cup, fill it up with water and halfway, maybe a cup of salt and then the rest with water, dilute it and pour it over your head and just get that salt and get it all that yucky stuff off of you. Okay, so that is one of the quickest and easiest ways. Holy water. When priests, and I make my own holy water, a lot of people do, we use table salt. So again, that's why you can make your own holy water. That's another video. I'll do that for you one of these days and show you how to make your own holy water. But these are the things, I mean, you can take the holy water and spray it in your office. Nobody really knows what you're doing in your car, in your house, and it helps. Okay, a lot. So a lot of negative stuff floating on, floating around out there. So um, anything you can do to clear your energy fields, remember we are made up of energy. We have energy fields. And this negative energy, whether you mean to it for it to attach to you or not, it just does. It's just how life is. You can have a conversation with someone and exchange energy and not even realize it. So a lot of times you're empathetic towards somebody and you take on their energy without even realizing it because you want to help that person. But the problem is if you don't clear yourself, it builds up and it can really weigh you down. So if you're feeling sluggish or your house feels really heavy or your car feels really heavy, the energy, there are so many different things you can do to clear. Another thing you can do, and I always talk about this, is sage. Now a sage stick, these, I use white sage. This is from the Native Americans in New Mexico. I always purchase the white sage because uh, I feel that the properties are a little bit stronger. You light this, open a door or a window in your house, walk through and just say negative energy go, positive energy stay, bless the home and get rid of all the negative energy. And again, it's the properties within the sage smoke that clear the negative energy out of your home. And I would do this at least um, at least once a month or when you feel it's really negative or bad. Um, another thing I'm gonna show you that's really cool that I picked up in Arizona a couple years ago and I started doing is sweet grass. This is sweet grass, it's braided. This is cool, um, really cool Native, Native American lady. Um, in Arizona sold this to me and um, she told me it's very similar to sage which I was picking up buying some sage from her and she said I'll take some of this too and it sweetens up the energy in the house so maybe I'll burn some of this today and sweeten up the energy in my house but that's what this is and it's really cool and you could probably buy this stuff online so it'll sweeten up the, the area okay so the next thing I'm going to tell you about, and I'm looking for them because they're small. People keep taking my rocks. I have these new rocks. Can you see these? They're little. These are my, I've ordered more because I keep giving them away and take, people keep taking them. My husband's taking them. Um, these are called shungite. And they're metaphysical stones. They have met, metaphysical properties. Okay. So I'm going to read you a little blurb that I think it's really cool. So the power of Shungite stone. It's not always readily known in the spiritual community, but it isn't. It, but as it isn't necessarily one of the most popular healing stones. That being said, their healing powers are extremely beneficial, and everyone should have one of them in their home. I love this. Said to be around for two billion years, Shungite is a powerful ancient healing stone that is said to be almost pure carbon. It's found in, I hope I'm going to pronounce this properly, Karelia region of Russia. It is incredibly powerful as it is one of the only known natural materials to contain fullerness. 
Fuller and Ifs occur when carbon molecules father together into hollow global molecules. They are currently of great scientific interest to many researchers because of their ability, are you ready for this, to purify water and act as powerful antioxidants and the possibility of being a treatment for cancer. There is much testimony, written testimony, that documents the beneficial effects of the Shungite metaphysical properties as it has been used for healing and purification water in Russia for centuries. So this is nothing new. This is something they've been using in Russia for a long, long, long time. Uh, Shungite healing stones help with defox detoxifying and purifying your body by absorbing and eliminating any negative energies or anything that is a health hazard to the body. They infuse your aura with light, allowing only positive and beneficial energies to reach you. So these are really cool. So this is my favorite new thing to clear energy. I've ordered a bracelet. Okay, I gotta have the rocks. Best thing you can do is to pray, put white light around yourself, ask God to protect you. I always call on the angels and say, hey guys, make sure I'm good if I'm nervous or I'm worried about something. So now this is it for today. You've learned lots of stuff. I'll try to expand upon some of these stuff, uh, some of these things as far as um, like how to make holy water. And we'll talk more about the stones in um, future videos. Okay. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Check out my new class, uh, the entitlement mindset, how to change the entitlement mindset and change your thinking and change your life. It's on my website. All right. Take care. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Website is theenergyprofit.com.